To add two or more exponential terms, first check to make sure the variables appearing in each term are identical. Next, combine the coefficients by simply adding the numbers. Finally, write the common variable next to the sum coefficient. Let's apply these steps to add the following three expressions. For the first problem, the variable portion of each term is identical or like terms. In this case, it's y squared. Therefore, let's combine the coefficients negative 3 and 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is the same as 4 minus 3, which is 1. The answer is 1y squared. In algebra, the coefficient 1 is understood rather than written out. So, the final answer is y squared. For the second problem, x squared is the variable part of both exponential terms. Add 3 and 2, that's 5, then bring in the common variable next to the sum coefficient. The answer is 5x squared. For the last problem, again, the variables are identical. Add negative 2 and 2, which is 0. 0 times b squared is just 0, since any number or variable times 0 is 0. Subtracting exponential terms is similar to adding with the exception of subtracting the coefficients rather than adding them. Let's look at the following three problems. For the first problem, both terms are like terms. Subtract 16 minus 8, which is 8. The final answer is 8x. For the second problem, the terms are like, so subtract 9 minus 6, which is 3. Then bring in the variable w cubed. The answer is 3w cubed. The last exponential expression has three like terms. Therefore, subtract 11 minus 3 minus 2, which is 6. The answer is 6t squared.